Yashar, Jasher, too. And it was in the hundred and thirtieth year of the life of Adam upon the earth that he again knew Kua, his woman. And she conceived and bore a son in his likeness and in his image. And she called his name Shet, saying, Because Elohim has appointed me another seed in the place of Havel, for Cain has slain him. And Shet, living 105 years, and rather, and Shet lived 105 years, and he begat a son. And Shet called the name of his son Enosh, saying, Because in that time the sons of men began to multiply and to afflict their souls and hearts by transgressing and rebelling against Elohim. And it was in the days of Enosh that the sons of men continued to rebel and transgress against Elohim to increase the anger of Yahuwah against the sons of men. And the sons of men went and they served other Elohim. And they forgot Yahuwah, who had created them in the earth. And in those days, the sons of men made images of brass and iron, wood and stone, and they bowed down and served them. And every man made his Elohim, and they bowed down to them. And the sons of men forsook Yahuwah all the days of Enosh and his children. And the anger of Yahuwah was kindled on account of their works and abominations, which they did in the earth. And Yahuwah caused the waters of the river Gihon, rather Gihon, rather Gihon, to overwhelm them. And he destroyed and consumed them. And he destroyed the third part of the earth. And notwithstanding this, the sons of men did not turn from their evil ways, and their hands were yet extended to do evil in the sight of Yahuwah. And in those days there was neither sowing nor reaping in the earth, and there was no food for the sons of men, and the famine was very great in those days. And the seed which they sowed in those days in the ground became thorns, thistles, and briars. For from the days of Adam was this declaration concerning the earth of the curse of Elohim, which he cursed the earth on account of the sin which Adam sinned before Yahuwah. And it was when men continued to rebel and transgress against Elohim and to corrupt their ways that the earth also became corrupt. And Enosh lived ninety years and he begat Canaan. And Canaan grew up and he was forty years old. And he became wise and had knowledge and skill in all wisdom. And he reigned over all the sons of men. And he led the sons of men to wisdom and knowledge. For Canaan was a very wise man and had understanding in all wisdom. And with his wisdom, he ruled over Ruachot and devils. And Canaan knew by his wisdom that Elohim would destroy the sons of men for having sinned upon earth, and that Yahuwah would in the latter days bring upon them the waters of the flood. And in those days Canaan 
wrote upon tables, rather, tablets of stone, what was to take place in time to come. And he put them in his treasures, and Canaan reigned over the whole earth. And he turned some of the sons of men to the service of Elohim. And when Canaan was seventy years old, he begat three sons and two daughters. And these are the names of the children of Canaan. The name of the firstborn, Mahalal El. The second, Enan, rather Enan. And the third, Mered. And their sisters were Ada and Sila. These are the five children of Canaan that were born to him. And Lamech, the son of Methusalel, became related to Canaan by marriage. And he took his two daughters for his women. And Eda conceived and bore a son to Lamech. And she called his name Yaval. And she again conceived and bore a son. And called his name Yuval. And Tzila, her sister, was barren in those days and had no offspring. For in those days the sons of men began to transgression against Elohim and to transgress the commandments which he had commanded to Adam to be fruitful and multiply in the earth. And some of the sons of men caused their women to drink a drought, rather drought, that would render them barren in order that they might retain their figures and whereby their beautiful appearance might not fade. And when the sons of men caused some of their women to drink, Tzila drank with them, and the child-bearing women appeared abominable in the sight of their men as widows, while their men lived, for to the barren ones only they were attached. And in the end of days and years, when Sila became old, Yahuwah opened her womb, and she conceived and bore a son, and she called his name Tubal Cain, saying, After I had withered away, have I obtained him from El Shaddai Elohim. And she conceived again and bore a daughter, and she called her name Naamah, for she said, After I had withered away, have I obtained pleasure and delight. And Lamech was old and advanced in years. And his eyes were dim, that he could not see. And Tubal Cain, his son, was leading him. And it was one day that Lamech went into the field, and Tubal Cain, his son, was with him. And while they were walking in the field, Cain, the son of Adam, advanced towards them, for Lamech was very old and could not see much. And Tubal Cain, his son, was very young. And Tubal Cain told his father to draw his bow, and with the arrows he smote Cain, who was yet far off, and he slew him, for he appeared to them to be an animal. And the arrows entered Cain's body, although he was distant from them, and he fell to the ground and died. And Yahuwah requited Cain's evil according to his wickedness, which he had done to his brother Havel. According to the word of Yahuwah, which he had spoken, 
And it came to pass when Cain had died that Lamech and Tubal Cain went to see the animal which they had slain. And they saw, and behold, Cain, their grandfather, was fallen dead upon the earth. And Lamech was very much grieved at having done this, and in clapping his hands together, he struck his son and caused his death. And the women of Lamech heard what Lamech had done, and they sought to kill him. And the women of Lamech hated him from that day, because he slew Cain and Tubal Cain. And the women of Lamech separated from him and would not hearken to him in those days. And Lamech came to his women, and he pressed them to listen to him about this matter. And he said to his women, Ada and Silah, Hear my voice, O women of Lamech, attend to my words. For now you have imagined and said that I slew a man with my wounds, and a child with my stripes, for their having done no violence. But surely know that I am old and gray-headed, and that my eyes are heavy through age, and I did this thing unknowingly. And the women of Lamech listened to him in this matter, and they returned to him with the advice of their father Adam, but they bore no children to him from that time, knowing that Elohim's anger was increasing in those days against the sons of men, to destroy them with the waters of the flood for their evil doings. And Mahalalel, the son of Canaan, lived sixty-five years, and he begat Yared. And Yared lived sixty-two years, and he begat Hanak.